Welcome to module 1.3. In this video, I'm going to cover some important tips on Google My Business profiles that you need to know. Now, this page that we're looking at here, this is a business profile that I currently manage called A Discount Glass. And I actually managed them a number of years ago. And uh, they, thankfully, this company decided to uh, contact me again because they told me that their profile was no longer being listed on Google. It was being blocked from the search results. So it had been a while since I last managed this profile. So I, I took a look at it and I realized that the person who was, was managing the profile uh, previously listed the company name as Egg Discount Class, We Come To You. Now, obviously, We Come To You is a slogan. That's not part of the company name because I verified that the company name was still a discount class. Whoever was managing the profile put We Come To You in the company name. And so once Google saw it listed here, they blocked the profile and they said that it was it did not meet Google's standards of uh, what they consider a quality profile. Because the reason is, is that Google, when they list a company on Google My Business, they look at the business name, they look at the street address, they also look at the, um, the city, state, and zip where the business is located, as well as the phone number. Now, if, if any of this information doesn't match up, but most importantly, if the business name doesn't match up with other profiles for that business online, then Google will block it. So this is a very important lesson. You know, when you're put when you're publishing your profile on Google My Business, you want to make sure that your business name matches uh, the actual the actual name of your business where it, where it's physically located at. Even if you work from home and, and you, you serve clients at their place of business, as long as you're trying to get a profile on Google My Business, you want to make sure that the business name is an exact match, especially if you have other profiles online on websites like Yelp, Facebook, etc. You want to make sure that your business name, the street address, the city, state, and the zip, as well as the phone number, you want to make sure that it matches other profiles online because if things don't match, if Google My Business sees that, you know, maybe your your Google My Business profile name is different than what you're listed as on Yelp, that could potentially mess up your Google My Business listing. So you just want to make sure that you verify it and that it's correct. You know, and then most importantly, as I mentioned in previous videos, Google My Business will from time to time apply auto updates to your, your page, meaning that um their I guess their um their computers which crawl the internet looking at data uh, from time to time they they see other profiles for businesses online and then they make updates based upon what they find so you want to make sure that you pay close attention to your google my business profile you know at, at least every two weeks you want to log into your page take a look at the page and make sure that all the data all the data is still correct as you originally listed it and most importantly that google has not made any auto update changes because those auto update changes could potentially uh, delist your page and cost you leads and then also you know more uh, revenue for your business. So once again, just always remember, pay close attention to the name, address, city, state, and zip, and phone number to make sure that they're correct and they match your other business profiles online. So I hope this tip has helped you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.